Okay. And uh, I'm sharing my screen again. Yes. So, uh, Abdullah, if you have the book, I mean, yes. This mission would be on page. Page six. Six, Yeah, page six. Yes. Look, this this lesson before it, I mean, is cancelled. I mean, it's not uh, mentioned in the plan for for our students. Yeah. Okay. So in art uh, number eight today, we are going to talk about uh, calligraphy. You know what's yes. the meaning of calligraphy? You yes. Know, yeah. Look here, you can see. I mean, some examples. Yes, here was also for Arabic one. It's called uh, Al Basmala, and also here I don't know. Is it uh, ancient Chinese or Western calligraphy or something like this? So calligraphy it means a panel hut. It means the, I mean the art of handwriting. Yes, like this. So. Yes, I um, I prepared some new vocabulary. We start with them. But before we start, uh, Abdullah, do you have any idea about? Uh, I mean, um, Arabic or English calligraphy? English? Do you have any idea about English calligraphy? Um, in English, to be honest, no. Because I believe yeah. you see some some things like the like this in foreign countries who whose who's their main language is English. But yeah. uh, when it comes to Arabic, I've seen a lot in mosques and Arabian yes. museums and stuff like you, that. You are right. But in English, usually just we see is a kind of handwriting, or we don't have like uh, that uh, decorations in, in writing like. Like we see in Arabic, yeah, like this. So in Arabic, we have different kinds of handwriting or different kinds of calligraphy. Do you have a, any idea about some of them, Amy, in your mind? Like, um, yes, it, I, I believe, like uh, in all our culture, uh, yes. the, the Islamic culture, it, uh, it's heavily focused on calligraphy. Like I said, mainly in mosques and stuff like that, uh, yeah. stuff like poetry and poetry books and stuff like that. Exactly. So um, I mean, this calligraphy is usually found in uh, in some religious places and historical as well. I mean, like mosques, like uh, um, I mean, old buildings or old castles, something like, like this. tombs. Yeah, so in Arabic we have uh, some kind of writing called an uh, uh, and a rika. Also, we have like al uh, al kufi, and we have different kind of um, calligraphy in Arabic, like this. So here we have some vocabulary. We need to to know their meanings in Arabic. Yes. So calligraphy is means pen al khat or al khat shakla. Far east, far east is a compound word. Al sharq, al aqsa, because we have al sharq al adma. It's called the near east. And near far, far east, al sharq al aqsa. يعني أقصى الشرق ركز. So from this word calligraphy, we have calligrapher. We are like teach, teaching teacher. So calligrapher means um, like hatat. Yes. Yeah, so the person who the person who uh, drafts writing. Yes, like this. Scholar, we can say this is like uh, some scholars, Islamic scholars or Arabic scholars. Mm -hmm. Scholar means alim. Alim. Yeah. But uh, alim, uh, it's different from uh, scientist. 
from science, yes. Yes, yeah. scientist, uh, this one in science, scholar in art. Yes. Religion, religious. Religion, religious. Is yeah, as yes. a noun. And this is as an adjective. So it will be the religion, religion. Yes. Scholars, Tabi'in. Akba, Mumunasirin. Something like this. Yeah, follow, follow ones. Yes. And also we have like uh, concentrate as a verb, concentration mm -hmm. as a noun. Yeah, this is we said this is important to focus on how can we change a word from noun or from verb to noun or from adjective to uh, verb from adjective to noun. Yes. So Turkey's Tur Turkey's concentration, concentrate, concentration, Turkey's. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, angle, angle, angular. Don't feel like angle and zawiya. Angular, angular, zawi. ما أدري هذا كان صفة صحيحة بالعربي. تقول زاوية يعني ذات زوايا. الخط يكون في زوايا. ركز. Twist. Twist. ملتوي. يا يلوي أو يثني أو ملتوي. Yellowy is a verb here. Yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. Crescent. Crescent um, is like hilal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, hilal al-ahmar is a muha red crescent. Red crescent. So we don't have too much vocabulary for your level in this lesson. I think these are uh, most of the vocabulary I found. So let's go back. Here, we are going to read every paragraph, and uh, after we finish reading every paragraph, we need to do something in the workbook at the same time. You understand me? Yeah, this. Yes. Because it's related to, to reading. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, Tasmi, you are hearing. Yes. Uh, we have just joined us uh, in the arts. Okay. Are you hearing? Oh, yeah, Mr. Hill. I saw the image of the title. Uh, and to my customer, other is that you are in the name. Ah, I had a fact the customer, other be the name. Now, thank you very much. No problem. Thanks. <laughs> so, here, uh, yes, maybe Iba, I think Iba, she is in the arts. Yes, she is. Now here we have like uh, six paragraphs in the text here. We need to make um, a, a title, an N1, a title for every paragraph. So how can I choose that? Because number one, this is a kind of introduction about mm -hmm. calligraphy. So we will go through every uh, paragraph and you see what title can we find? This is in the workbook. We find it in page, uh, page 92. Yeah, 92 in the workbook. But you can write it in your uh, course book and later you can add it. So okay. here, yes, uh, Abdullah, we need uh, to start with the first paragraph so we can start reading and then we discuss it. Okay, should I read? Yeah. The word calligraphy comes from greek it means beautiful writing it is the art of fine handwriting and has been practiced in many countries for centuries in yeah. the far east a pointed brush is used in western and islamic cultures a pen is the calligrapher's tool yes so this was like an introduction about yes, what is exactly. the yeah, like, so the word calligraphy is not originally English, right? Mm -hmm. It's Greek. Yeah, it's Greek. Um, just let me check some. Yes, it's okay, it's working. So it's like a um, Greek word, and it means beautiful writing because calligraphy is a kind of handwriting. So it's not 
it's different from typing using the laptop or computer or something like that. Practice. So here, um, it, um, it's an introduction. Yes, yeah, it's an introduction. But they, they mentioned here that calligraphy is not like a new art. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, it, it has been practiced for for many Century. many centuries, not years. Yeah, long time mm -hmm. ago. But there's a difference between uh, uh, calligraphy. I mean, how is it uh, practiced in the Far East and in the Western and Islamic culture? In the Far East, what what are these? Settings, I think, is, is it uh, for which country? This looks think? like uh, Chinese, maybe? Ch Chinese or Japanese, Korean, yeah, like it. So here, they used uh, in their writing, they use like um, uh, pointed, pointed brush. And brush, um, no sin, or parak, yeah, like mm -hmm. But in Western and Islamic cultures, they use a pen. You know, people who are drafting or writing the people who are drafting or writing the Mus'hab Sharif also they use special kind of pens. Yes. Yeah, like this. So this was like an introduction about calligraphy in general. So we will read this, Abdullah, then we will see what, uh, I mean, uh, which title we can choose for this. Okay. Yeah. Calligraphy in China has a history going back thousands of years. There was a strong connection between painting and calligraphy because they used similar methods and materials. Yeah. However, calligraphers were seen as scholars, while painters were seen as ordinary workers. It was not until the 5th century that they were treated as equals. Exactly. So here we have um, the mention here. They talked about uh, China. Okay, that it started also in China a uh, long time ago. But uh, later they, they started to talk about uh, the connection between painting and calligraphy. يعني الرسم بخط اليد والخط العادي هما قالوا انه في ارتباط بي سي ذا ديز ا كونكشن بين ذيم واي بيكوز ا بيكوز ذي يوز سيميلر ميثودز اند ماتيريال يا سو ذي سوم ذي سام تايم ذي يوز ذا سيم بروش ذا سيم بين اور ذا سيم ايديا سيم انك يس يا سو يو كان بوت سام ثينج اند like a sheet or white sheet or you start uh, drawing yeah, i mean there are some similarities like this but um can be misbelahamun calligraphers they are like scholars but um, i mean um, painters they are like Ordinary workers, they are not scholars. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, do you think uh, or do you have an idea about this? I mean, or why do you think uh, it's like that? Well, I believe because it's uh, it's like a form of art where you mm -hmm. teach yeah, it yeah. from generation to generation. So that's why the calligraphers were treated and seen like that. Exactly, this is a good idea. But also, in my opinion, in my opinion, uh, calligraphers they are like scholars because they usually read different kind of books. ينقلوا دراسات وكتب سابقة فهو أثناء أثناء كتابته هو يطلع ويقرأ ويفهم عشان كده يعتبر عالم إنه مطلع ملخص. so this is the point I think. thanks عبد الله for this uh, for this paragraph we can say uh, in your opinion which uh, which title can we choose for this? 
Example. Uh, I believe it's also part of the introduction. Yeah, but they said here we have uh, like six paragraphs. It should be another paragraph. This one, one, two, three. Oh, actually, yeah, it's, it should be separate. Four, yeah, five. Yes, like this. Yes, but I mean it is related to introduction because they talked about China, uh, mm -hmm. but it's a kind of well, explanation, means, maybe. Yeah, but uh, there is different point here. Let me share it, uh, share it with you here. Uh, you can say uh, make it make it short because usually the title is in short painting, painting and calligraphy. And the relationship between the painting and calligraphy. So I think this is a good topic also. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, I believe uh, painting is missing a few. Ah, it's in, in spelling, you mean? Yeah, let me go yes. back. And also ca calligraphy. In uh, T. Without the yeah. O. Yes, yeah, so let me undo. Make it again. Painting, just like this, and make it calligraphy. Yes. yes, correct. So the next one, the next paragraph, let's see if they give us more information about uh, what this. Yes. So Abdullah, we need uh, to read this now. You choose a topic or a title for it, yes. Okay. In Western cultures, calligraphy was used on the Roman letters. Different so, styles. Was, was based, based on. Oh, I'm sorry, it was based yes. on Roman letters. Different styles were developed from these basic shapes. Yes. Calligraphers were often religious men. And the most beautiful examples of Western calligraphy are used are usually found in religious books. Pages mm -hmm. are made beautiful by the shapes of the letters and pictures added as decorations and by the right colors used. Yes, nice, thank you very much. So here we talk about uh, um, um, in the Western culture, calligraphy was. Uh, based on or uh, depended on the Roman letters. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, there are different kinds of uh, you know, writing in the Western countries. We have um, all of, all, all of um, the European languages like uh, English, French, German, Spanish, or all of these, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they are. They have one origin, which is what Latin. That's yes. why, yeah, that's why they are written in the Latin word. About it. A proof here. But here they talk about like Roman letters. Like long time ago, maybe before, before Latin or before the Latin. Um, here you can see, but it's not clear. Some examples about this, the Latin. So uh, the same point we talked about at the beginning. We said that uh, I mean, usually you find calligraphy or a kind of uh, drafting or beautiful writing and decorations in, in religious places like masjid or like ma'bad or like like al muqaddas like this so here this is the same point yes um, they usually found in religious books and also uh, and the pages are made beautiful by the shapes of the letters. So, um, also sometimes we use some colors. 
سنستخدمه yes. الوان يلا yeah. لك سو ان يور اوبينيون عبد الله اي مين تو تايتل فور ذس كان بي يا ودي اي وود ساي كالوغرافي ان ويسترن كولتشر يس اتس ا جود ايديا اوسو ليتس ميك ات مور سبيسيفيك يو كان ساي Calligraphy in Roman letters, maybe. Yes, or we can say um, uh, okay. So your 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 title is good, I think, because you focused on everything here. Because you said calligraphy in Western cultures. That's it. Because this is the main point here. Yeah, so here we can add it here. In this term, culture. Okay, so also this C can be public. But what we aim is to encourage you. This is the main idea for it. Yes. So let's see more. I'm curious to see more about writing, oh, sorry, about calligraphy. And here we have like a Bismillah in a hut. I don't know what kind of hut it is. Is it a uh, hut of pillar and Kufi and Salafis? So Abdullah, yes. uh, we go to the next, uh, the next paragraph. Yes, here. Uh, top right, okay. Mm -hmm. Should I start reading? Yeah, you see this is a short paragraph. But I mean, it focuses on something, and um, yeah. Calligraphy among the followers of Islam was seen as the greatest of the arts because of the importance of the writing of the Holy Quran. Therefore, many calligraphers concentrated the name of God. Yes, so, you know, he, uh, in the last, in the previous paragraph, We yes. focus on writing or calligraphy in the whispering character, in the or mm -hmm. But here, here, calligraphy in Islam. I mean, final uh, hut in Islam. So here, um, because of the importance of writing of the Holy Quran, I mean, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran, the Therefore, many calligraphers concentrated. Uh, the name of God, which means Allah for Islam. That is. So, I mean, this paragraph focuses on what? On uh, calligraphy in Islam or the Islamic exactly. uh, culture. Yes. yes. Culture. In Islamic culture. Yes. Yes, about the next one, the next paragraph also, I think it's the last one, or before the last one. It's also uh, focusing on uh, Islamic, uh, calligraphy of Islamic writing. So, yes, Abdullah, please, you can read this to discuss it. Yes, as Islam spread, so did calligraphy. The art grew and developed. And, and two main styles appeared. Kofic, an angular style for carving in stone, yeah. appeared in the 7th century. By the 10th century, Nashki, a more flowing... Maybe they mean, they mean like Nasr. Nasr. Yes. Nasr. This is what I mean. I think. Because Kofic, it means Kofi, a couple of Kofi. Nasr, Kofic, a couple yes. Nasr. Yeah, this is the same thing, I think. A more flowing style with rounded letters appeared and Kofik had almost disappeared. Yeah. New form of calligraphy also appeared in art and architectural artists twisted words into circles, squares and other shapes small yeah. enough to fit on a plane 
or large enough to decorate the wall of mosque, birds, fruit, animals, and even the shapes of mosques, ships, and the Islamic star and crescent became part of the calligrapher's art. Yes. So here they mean uh, after uh, spreading of Islam, but in Islam, uh, Islam, Al-Khattar Ishtahar Kathir, so did calligraphy. Um, the uh, calligraphy developed and became uh, famous and different styles of uh, calligraphy has or have appeared and mm-hmm. for carving stone for carving in stone كان في بداية عبارة عن نقش نقش في ال في الصخور كيرفين الحجر يس متى عند السفنس يقام السابع يقام السابع ظهر بعدين يقام العاشر تكينت سنشوري خط النص it means like rounded letters appeared in coffee and coffee had almost disappeared بعدين بالقرن العاشر ظهر خط النص وبعدين الخط الكوفي انتهى او اختفى استبدلوا بخط النص مركز later on new forms of calligraphy also appeared in the art and architecture اللي هو الفنون المعماريه بعدين بداوا يتفننوا يسووا على شكل كلمات عبارة عن دوائر كلمات ملتوية ودوائر مربعات وأشكال وأشكال أخرى لا also is a kind of decorate a wall on the mosque as we said birds, fruit, animals also there are shapes for them in the mosque and the shapes and also in the Islamic style and recent we can buy the first art يعني النجمة الإسلامية أو الهلال هذا أصبح نوع من أنواع الخطوط So it's clear now عبد الله And I think yes. you can find uh, the best uh, the best um, title for this I would say development of calligraphy uh-huh. It's a good idea You can say also it's a kind of uh, um, styles of Arabic calligraphy and who had the hand get to our couple Arabic mm-hmm. yes you can say you can say Arabic calligraphy or styles of Arabic calligraphy yeah the same the same idea you give it to me but now we try to make it uh, as as short as possible with this attack The last paragraph, the last paragraph, yes, Abdullah. A number of young artists today are interested in traditional calligraphy. Mm -hmm. A good example is a piece of modern calligraphy in the shape of the hand of Fatima. It was designed as a greeting card by the Lebanese artist Muna Basili Shinouri. Some years ago, it reads, Ma Sha Allah as God's will. Yes. So here, Badaw al Fannanin, al Khattatin, al Yusumu, Badaw al Tamu, the al Khutub al Taqlidiyah. Because it's a kind of uh, art. Yes, for example, um, there is uh, a modern calligraphy in the shape of Hand of Fatima. على شكل يد فاطمة هي صممتها it was designed as a greeting card عبارة عن تحية من اللي صممها الفنانة اللبنانية أو الفنان فنانة منى منى باسلي نفس so um, Um, we have like, mashallah, it means in English, as God dwells. Yes. 
So here, Abdullah, they talk about um, um, the artists. So how can we yes. make uh, how can we make a title for this and to make it uh, like mm. uh, yeah, something includes everything in this paragraph? I would say art and calligraphy, or mm -hmm. artists and calligraphy. Uh, yes, or you can say uh, modern. Modern calligraphy arts. Mm -hmm. Or you can say uh, modern. Modern. Uh, calligraphers. We can call modern calligraphers. Yeah, true. That, that's, yes. that's a good yes. title. Because they, they talked about uh, this Lebanese uh, artist. Practice. So, I mean, uh, these titles Abdullah, can be changed by one way or another. It's different. Maybe you can change, but the idea is there. The idea is there. It's the same. So, Abdullah, we are about on to finish. We are very close, but before. We need uh, to discuss some questions here because it's a kind of revision for all of this. I think you got an idea about uh, what does the writer want to say about calligraphy, right? Yes. Yes. So, do you think that calligraphy is important today in the modern time? Uh, important in art, yes. But mm -hmm. as the second question should writing be easy to read or beautiful i believe it, it depends like yeah. if it's in a form of uh, teaching and learning it definitely should be more easy than beautiful it's more important wow so you mean it, it, it is i mean a kind of writing i mean for giving information like a, a scientific yeah. book and Stuff uh, shouldn't, like that. Yeah, it shouldn't be uh, beautiful. Uh, it is a kind of uh, information, giving information. Yes. Yes. But you mean if, uh, if it is a kind of I mean, a piece of art, of art or decoration. Mm, exactly. In some it, it, uh, it should be beautiful because it adds up the value of the thing being written. Yeah, exactly. You are right. I agree with your ideas. Thanks. Yes. So. Because before we finish, we need to I need to help you in uh, solving some of the exercises in your workbook, and this is very important question here. Man to tell you about the problem that you have in the English language. What is the problem? The problem is the siyaq context. Siyaq is the problem. For example, here the word "fine." Fine means "jamil." Uh, Fine means uh, um, you can say um, um, uh, highly drama. Uh, they call him on the Muhalaq Muhalaq. So my fine also. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So the word fine here in in uh, line number two. Um, but one line number two. The word fine he means sunny or beautiful. Yes, here. Yeah, it means uh, uh, art of fine handwriting. Mm -hmm. Fine hand and fine means here beautiful. Means beautiful, yes. Yes, like this. So this is the answer, which means here means. Uh, beautiful. Practice. Practice also in line number three, paragraph one. Practice. Hal mana done again and again to be better, or in the practice mana imaris she muayyan hatta yaxsul ala siga afdal. Or imaris bi mana yamal she muayyan. Practice. So here, practice it means done or it means. Uh, Practiced again, again, again. Uh, I believe it's done. Done. Practice mm -hmm. like as because they said uh, 
uh, has been practiced in many countries for centuries. So yes, has been practice done. means have happened and done in many exactly. centuries and countries. Translate your, your answer is true. Also, the word tool here. Tool has a sense here. Any ada ada melmusa, the matraqa, and minshar, and the other the barawi. Hi. أو يقصد فيها أداة يعني بوسيلة instrument يقول mm. so two في النص اللي ورد في line number six they mean uh, is it uh, tool like uh, touch thing or they mean it's like uh, instrument يعني وسيلة يعني تعبير مجازي uh, no I would say hammer so Yes, so let's go back in line. Yeah, here. The second is the calligraphy, the calligraphy's tool. Tool, yani ada a wasila means tahbinha. Okay. Yeah, so here, um, let me, uh, yes, your answer is true here. You can say, yeah, wasila, mithla, mithla, yi wasila, ta matraqa. كان yes. الجار عند أن الجار عند مطرقة المنشار عند كل فنان عنده هاي القلم أو البرش فرشة الأرض yes. سين سين بمعنى you can see with your eyes or you can consider. see you can consider يعني تأخذ عين الاعتبار تعبير مجازي في line mm-hmm. number 15 paragraph in column one, column and uh, Amud. Line 15. Uh, I would say considered. Yeah, because when, when they see, they don't they say, oh, I see. Oh, I see. What I see? I think. Yeah, it's the same. Yes, argument. I believe. I believe. Great. Equal, the ma'ana is in Saudi. How equal, the ma'ana next Mustawa Kaza. The same meaning of something. Also here, we erase this. We go to the next. So equals um, equal in column one, line twenty, line one. Uh, here. Uh, they were treated as equals. يعني هم معنى equal هنا بمعنى يساوي واحد زائد واحد يساوي أو equals يعني بشكل متساوي. Yeah, so equals here they mean the same level. Yeah, the same level as the good amal bin amal and the south in the amal and the left term is the yes. Little is also lahama and alphabet. I'm not only a heart out to me, um, and yes, the result I will be the result of the read of the email, but here they mean alphabet. Alphabet, yes, yes, concentrated. معنى تفكير ان توت هارد فور ذا موست وور يعني ااا ديد ديد موست وور يا ديد موست ديد موست وور في ذيس باراجراف ركز ااا ليس معناها انه فكروا بشكل عميق في الدراسه ركزت على ركزت على انه اكثر عملها او اكثر جهدها كان في كذا ركز so when we say so, we mean therefore or at the same time. This is uh, the, therefore. Therefore. So yes. we did something so, what like is um, Grew in the, is it became more important or became older? So, uh, yani, nama, in line number eight. So let's go back to check this. 
Uh, is it uh, is it here? Column one line eight. Column one line eight. It's not there. In eight. Is it in here? You didn't find it. It's uh, a bit confusing yeah, because uh, they are not uh, marked by numbers. But this is the column one of the line, and this is column two. Yes. So columns here one and two. Line, it means one, two, three, like this. So anyway, I've got uh, um, I think here they mean, say, Became more important. Became more important because they don't talk about people, they talk about something. True. Yeah. Number, it means some or one or two. Or how you could Some. I think I'm not yeah. sure. When I say when I say a number of people, I don't yeah, mean one, two, some three, of them. four, years. This is the meaning. So that's Abdullah. I hope that you get an idea about uh, how can I mean, some some of the English words have or have two meanings. How can I know the exact meaning from the context? Yes. Like this. So Thank last you thing, for your time, teacher. Yeah, it's okay. Just uh, Abdullah, uh, less than. No, five we have minutes. more. No, less okay. than five minutes. But see, it will be for you, I think it's easy. But, uh, uh, yes. This one, this one is important. You can do it in two minutes for you. Uh, on the next page. If Harry Arakan Kudari at him in the half, this Martin and Howell means in now on the adjective or in now on the next half. Okay, so here, these, how can you say? Greece and Yunani, uh, the Greek or Yunani, you say what? Greek. Greek, yes. Uh, Roman. Ro Roman. Yes. Yes. Islam. Islamic. Islamic. Great. Lebanon. Lebanese. Lebanese. Great. West. Western. 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 Uh, angle angular uh, angular point uh, point mm. easy, huh? easy point pointed pointed during, during, okay. during the pointed brush yes yes, um. yes easy. Re religion Religious. Religious. Tradition. Traditional. Traditional. Flow. Uh, it just proper. Fluid. Flow. Oh, no. Language here. Flowing. Okay. Yes. That is. So that was everything, uh, Abdullah. And I uh, really thank you very much for I mean, your discussion with me. Um, my my pleasure. I always it. love taking your class. Yes, thanks. Because you have uh, a lot of information in, about uh, I mean, this topic. And you fully yes. understand uh, some information in advance or previously. So um, we discussed uh, the topics. So we discussed... Uh, I mean, you got an idea, how can we find the main idea, how can we make mm -hmm. the title, and also um, you got an idea about uh, the questions we answered in the workbook about vocabulary practice. So, Abdullah, this session will be, uh, will be recorded, and inshallah, I'll send you the link later for your Inshallah, class. thank you, teacher. Yes. So...